In this episode, we're going to continue my look into Wrestling Organization Online, a game on Hive Engine. We're going to open some packs, look at the game a little bit, maybe take in some play, and discuss what I think so far. If this sounds interesting to you, please stand by. Woo! Woo! Hey all you wrestling fans, welcome back. Bronze Dragon here, bringing you continuing coverage of Wrestling Organization Online, a game that recently came across my radar because it's promotional event with Splinterlands currently going on. Uh, if you happen to be with us at my usual Saturday morning uh, stand-up live stream, Booker Man, uh, the head guy over at Wu. Uh, sponsored some card giveaways, so we gave away some packs, and it was a nice little event. Got everybody a little bit uh, pumped up for Woo. So, if you're now during the live event, we gave away uh, six packages of card packs, which had several packs in them each, uh, and these were the winners. So, congratulations to Gage, Super Muffin, Bitcoin Flood, Herman German, YTF Denal, and Killer Dragon Twenty Four. All those packs were sent out immediately after the show. Uh, so that was uh, nice of Booker Man to sponsor that event. If you're moderately a wrestling fan or anything, this might be interesting for you. Another game on the high blockchain. Um, but anyway, I've got some packs. Uh, he gave me a certain amount uh, to keep and then a certain amount. To, I gave most of them away, but uh, straight up front, he just give me, he did give me a few packs. Uh, and I wanted to go ahead and open them on uh, a video here. So if you're a little bit interested in the game, you can see what's going on. Now, at this point, all the packs except for land packs are sold out. So you're going to have to get them on Hive Engine. So I did go on and I bought some uh, as well as the ones he gave me. So we're going to go ahead and open those up. When you go to the website, you can go up to the more uh, category uh, or drop down pick list and then just click open. And I figured I'd go ahead and open them online uh, or on video so everybody can see what they would get. And these have a variety of different things in them. And I'm not 100% certain exactly what's going to be in each. But I bought a few of each, uh, like I said, along with the ones he uh, gave me. Um, let's see here. Okay, it took me a few minutes and I had to ask for assistance on... Um, Discord in the Discord channel, um, but it appears that if you currently want to open packs, you have to use their older website. Um, so I will leave the link to that in the show notes. Um, I guess the open packs functionality is not up and running on the newer uh, interface. So we've got that uh, ironed out, and you can see that I have some packs to open up here. I have 10 Wu Alpha, which are the main card packs where uh, you receive five cards, the Wu Saturn. I bought a Woo Raven, uh, and we have some rewards. The Part Sun is actually land. I have not bought one of those yet. Uh, however, I might look into just buying singles. Uh, if you've been following me, you know I usually try and buy singles um, because I consider them a, a better value for your money because you know exactly what you're buying. Um, but in this case, I'm just starting out, so I thought I'd uh, open some packs. Uh, and we will go ahead and dive in here and see what I can get. Let's look at this. Uh, I can send. I can op open multiple. So let's just go ahead and open the 10 packs and see what I get. Crossing my fingers for a gold belt, baby. Oh, yeah. That sounds like a cross between Macho Man Savage and the Kool-Aid Man. Okay, let's check this out. Okay, Karen Smith, Fontana Family, Titan, Titan, Brothers in Arms, Titan, uh, Muck Sheik, uh, Artie Wright. As I'm starting out, I need all these basically. Billy Mayhem, Ivanka, Semenov, Abby Rhodes, Fontana Family again, Fontana Family again, Brothers in Arms again. All those are commons. Another Karen Smith, she's a rare. Riker, Voigt, Hinterland Hunters, uh, Ivan Scheister, Ivanka Semenov. No good ones yet. I mean, you really, in the end, what I've figured out about this game thus far after playing for two days is you're going to need a good selection of all of these. Uh, the higher level, the commons, all the way up to uh, the epics and, and legendaries. So we've got an assortment of more commons here. Enrique Alvaro. 
Willow White, Dueling Daltons, very good. Those are epics. Fontana Family, Titan, uh, com, uh, a rare Muckshik. That's kind of uh, deceiving. You uh, wave your, uh, you, wow, okay. You, put, you uh, hover over and it shows green, but it's actually a blue rare. Um, so we've got Billy Mayhem, uh, and another Enrique, uh, and another Willow White. Nice. Ivan Scheister. I leveled her up last night, so these extra uh, copies will help, but uh, I'll need to level her again. But I'm going to work on my other characters. So I guess the picks of this batch are, uh, although the rares will come in handy, uh, Willow White, a couple Willow Whites, Dueling Daltons, um, didn't get any legendaries, was hoping to get a legendary, and uh, there were no gold belts. Uh, on these cards, you would see the belt here would be gold, and that's, like I said, similar to gold foils in Splinterlands. Okay, so we have Saturn packs here. Let's go ahead and open four. These were a bit more expensive than the uh, alpha packs. So I'm interested to see what, what I'm actually going to get. Okay, so each each pack only contains one card. Trophy Hunter Chase Martin. Uh, now, I've, I saw these cards on the market, and it's like the flip side of a card where they give you description and bio of a person. Uh, very interesting. Oh, a legendary. Perry Saturn. I needed him. I have to look at his stats and Willow White. So I got some good cards here. Willow White and Chase Martin are both epics. Uh, Artie Wright is a common, and then I got a legendary. So all in all, worth it. Uh, although those packs were like four to five dollars each. Now Wu Raven. This seemed to be a highly limited pack. There weren't too many for sale on the market. Let's go ahead and why not open one Wu Raven? See what I get. Okay, view all, and it's Raven. Um, and this is interesting because it also has the indicators here showing the different parts of the cards if you're brand new, the cost, the speed, the damage, the health, the rarity, and the belt. Uh, so it's Raven, uh, and I can use any legendaries I can get. So that's cool. Uh, now, my last five packs, uh, Woo Reward packs. Uh, let's go ahead and open those five packs. Cross my fingers for some more legendaries. Once again, these only have one card per pack. Okay, so we have Lexi Lawless. I needed her. She's a legendary as well. Um, I don't know exactly what these cards mean. Uh, Booker Man, NFT Sound. These are all both people uh, that actually, uh, I know Booker Man's a head guy at the game. Um, Paloofs, uh, Terminated. I don't know what these cards are at this point. Um, so NFT Sound is uh, uh, musicians. Evidently, they do music for the game. So there we go. Let's go back to the game. Okay, we're back in the game, and this is my collection. And you can see that thanks to the promotion cards they sent me, and also shout out to Wibble. He sent me some cards as well. Um, and on top of that, the cards I actually bought off the market, uh, this is where I stand. So... Um, Basically, the idea is you want to level your character much like you do in Splinterlands. Uh, she's a common Akemi uh, Ishii, um, and she would take another, you know, a total of 51 to level to level 2, and then her stats would go up a little bit. Um, same idea. As, they, as the rarities increase, it's going to take fewer copies. I believe that the epics take 11, 12. Um, so the next level, I'll have to get up to 17 to make level 3 on this guy. So uh, I leveled him last night. But um, I have noticed on the marketplace that due really to liquidity uh, numbers, um, it's fairly expensive to level these characters. Even the commons, uh, a lot of the commons I seem to note would take about $10 uh, to make level 2. And then you have to work your way up from there. Uh, another thing I noted was sometimes I'll jump into a match and I got level one characters. I'm coming up against level six characters, so I don't know really how that's balanced out. So we'll go back to my collection. Um, 
So you can see I've got a number of copies of each of these. You know, the, the little red square tells you how many copies you have of each. Um, as time goes along, I uh, my my next immediate steps is going to be to try to level some of these characters because what I found out in, and we'll play a match here in a minute, but what I found out is that uh, another mechanism in the game is the fact that your characters can only be played so much and then um, they, wear, they wear themselves out. And the more you use them, the more worn down they get and the more likely they are to get injured. And once they become injured, then um, they don't win and eventually you can't use them at all so you get into a situation let me find one here you get into a situation like i was using this guy a lot yesterday because he is one of my best characters right here and you can see that his injuries are minor but when you hover it over it, it gives you a certain length of time it's going to take for that card to fully heal and be at its maximum power so that goes back to my one of my big findings over the first day of playing this is that you're really going to have to have and this applies in a lot of in most card games you're going to have to have a good selection of different characters that have different costs okay you can see that he cost he cost eight to put out so he's fairly expensive but it does help to have lower costing uh characters as well wrestlers as well to put in your show because with each show you have um a certain cost you can spend okay this is much like the mana cost in Splinterlands. Um, so obviously if you have a low cost match, you're not gonna be able to throw out all your best people out there. Also, uh, the thinking here is that you have to think about uh, where you specifically use your different wrestlers so that you don't wear them all your best ones out at one time. Uh, kind of like in a regular wrestling show, you're gonna have to have a big name star that kind of carries the show and then some kind of sideliners, right? Um, so it's, it's all part of the game and I'm just jumping into it so my next step is going to be to try and level some of these cards the commons seem to take f is it 51 or 52 copies um, okay so it takes total 51 to level a common up to level two let's check out rares um, rare you need a total of 29 for level two and like I said epic is 12 yeah, well, this is a bad um, example because I already leveled him to level two, but uh, Epic is level 12 and Legendary is actually level 12 as well. I wonder if they're both the same. Let's go back. Okay, here's the Dueling Daltons there in Epic. So, okay, so it takes nine. I was wrong initially. So the Epics take nine and the Legendaries take 12 uh, to level. So. Um, going forward, what I'm going to try to do is kind of get a good selection um, and just start to generally uh, level them up a little bit um, and uh, see where we can go from there. There are other items uh, that I've noted that do help as well, which are the managers um, that you can tack on there. But I never really got into a position where I had enough cost available um, to go ahead and tack on a manager unless I was trying to just run just like um, the new challenge this week is to try and win um, a show without filling the main uh, the main spot uh, I guess in that situation you have a little bit of cost left over to throw a manager on one of them but uh, the manager basically helps out uh, certain attributes uh, if you tack them on to a wrestler as you would think so let's go ahead and let's just play a match We're going to go ahead and jump in here. Sometimes this match I, I found over the last day or two playing this matchmaking in uh, progress screen. It does, you know, it's it's hit or miss. Sometimes the matches get matched up and sometimes it'll sit here for, you know, 10 minutes and not get anything. So I'll have to refresh. It's just been really hit or miss my initial experience with the, the game. Okay, so after waiting for about three minutes, I went ahead and refreshed and asked for a new match. So you can see that my budget is 35, so that's what I have to spend. Um, so this match has two female matches, an undercard and a main, and then I have uh, undercard male and then a tag team undercard. And I have, uh, I think, about three minutes to pick, so I have two and a half minutes. And this is my opponent over here at Copper. Um, what did I do? Uh, 
Okay, so let's go ahead and choose. We only got two minutes left here. Let's go ahead and I'm going to go in with, uh, let's go in with John Willow. Let me pick him. Um, my good tag team is the Bevan brothers. Let's go ahead and pick them. We've used up 16 of 35. We've got two female matches here. Let's go in with, uh, what happened here? I don't know this it this matchmaking just it just freaks out randomly let's go ahead and try to do this again and go with uh, no uh, let's go with Lexi on the main match uh, let's see if we can get Willow White in here Now I know I have one of her at level two, and see it's flipping out again. <sighs> yeah, I. I know I have one of Lex or Willow White at level two. I just don't know how to tell the difference between the level one and the level two. So we'll just select one. And then I'll go with Lexi in the main event. And I have cost to spare, so I'm fine. Let's go ahead and submit the team, see if it goes through. And then it goes into this process. And basically at this point, the game's already run the match. And this is just like in Splinterlands, you just can play it back here. So this shows that I'm playing against Copper. And uh, I've fielded John Willow. He's fielded Titan. So we can go ahead and simulate the match and I will turn up the sound a little bit because this has sound effects. One, two, three. So I won the first match. Um, and uh, kudos to the sound team um, because I do like the sound effects with this game. However, I do think that they might get a little bit old fast. So, okay. So the undercard event right here was Willow White versus Ivanka Semenov. And I fielded Willow White. Let's go ahead and see who won here. And I won that as well. Okay. Undercard event. Uh, I fielded the Bevan brothers. He fielded uh, the O'Malley's. And I won that. And the main event is Lexi Lawless versus Akemi Ishii. And I fielded Lexi Lawless. So let's simulate. And he won. So I think, and then I'll view results. So overall, I won. And you'll see that I won 13.451 uh, Woo, which is the token in game. Okay, with a brief, uh, you know, a brief update on Wu, where I stand, some pack openings. Uh, I'm going to go take after this video. I'm going to go ahead and look at my cards and try to update some of them or upgrade some of them to level two, and go from there. A lot of things going on. I haven't even scratched the surface of a lot of different points to this game, and I'm just starting to understand it. So, if you have any tips. Or you have any questions about the game, leave them in the show comments. Otherwise, this has been Bronze Dragon. I hope everyone on your side is happy and healthy. And I will see you in the wrestling organization online, brother. Mm -hmm.